why I love being a personal trainer is because I get to meet so many different people. You never know what somebody's story is, and I get to affect that story. My name is Raquel Huggins, and I am a personal trainer. Most people think that personal trainers just are gym rats that like to be in the gym and then just decide to start training people based on sort of what they do in the gym. I wanted to try and get out to reach more people. My personal training experience is different from the average personal trainer. Six, two, seven. Two, let's go, let's go. Excellent. Everybody up, let's go. Rotate the hips, that's it. Ready, and go. One, two, three. So the passion for joining the after school program is because I get to train kids. I get to train teenagers who are very impressionable, who have different types of limitations and fitness levels and beliefs that I get to either nurture or dispel. Everybody up and get some water. The goal of the program is really to teach the kids a healthy way of looking at their bodies, teaching them how to lift weights in a healthy way with the proper form, and sort of also dispelling the myths and some of their ideas of how to grow or how to lose weight or how to become stronger. want to do something, there's no excuse. Just do it. As many times as you fail, do it again. One, two, three, woo! All right. Thank you very much. So in this segment, we're working a lot of endurance muscle. We're adding some light and heavy weights in order to challenge also some of the strength muscle groups, but it's all body and it's cardio intensive. Mental health is just as important as physical health. And I feel that that's where I connect with my clients the most. We also try and heal some of the, the things that have been broken in people over time. When you become a personal trainer, and I've been a personal trainer for 20 some odd years now, you meet people who have gone through some traumatic things and have let themselves go, and they need the help in order to get back to where they wanna be. It's important for me to help restore some of that love that they used to have for themselves that they've sort of lost over time. If I only start with their nutrition and their physical ability, then that's just one aspect of it. Getting them to trust that you are emotionally invested in them, it also gives them that reassurance that they're not alone. They're not alone in their fitness journey and they're potentially not alone in life. And I want my clients to know that they have me for life. As a female personal trainer, there are quite a few challenges that I've faced over my career. The stigma that female personal trainers get is that they don't know how to train men, or they don't know how to lift weights properly, or we don't lift heavy enough. Over the years, I've had my share of experiences based on my gender, based on my culture, my background, that has definitely made marks in my career, but it hasn't hindered my career at all. I just show them what I can do, and if they come back, great, and if they don't, they don't. I used fitness uh, in order to sort of help heal a part 
of me that um, seemed to have been missing when I met people in the gym or my peers were in the gym and asked me for help. It sort of gave me a purpose. An adolescent at 14, my mother passed away and left this void that the gym helped replace. At that particular time in my life, I thought that it was very important for me to find something to help make me feel protected. And by helping others, it in turn helped heal myself. I think nutrition is extremely important. I think it's more important than physical activity. The whole saying you are what you eat really is true. It's important for me because it helps me stay on track. I really love to cook and I like knowing what I'm putting in my body. I like knowing how much of it I'm eating. And I also like knowing that I get the right balance of the variety of foods that I need. When clients ask you to cook for them, they put a certain amount of trust in your ability to be safe, to be sanitary, um, to cook what they're looking for with the type of taste that they're looking for. Over the years, based on word of mouth, other people have been able to vouch for the flavor and vouch for the, for the portion size and what they like about my cooking style. So today for the stir fry, we're using a uh, one cup measuring, which is necessary to make sure that we stay at the proper portion. I mix up the menu based on what the client's needs are. It really depends on what they're looking for. I shop on, uh, on a certain type of a budget for the client because that's very important is their budget. The staple is eating anywhere between two and a half to three hours in between each meal making sure that a daily workout of anywhere to between 45 to 60 minutes is done. Being able to create your own brand, being able to create your own lifestyle, being able to design the schedule that you want and believe in what you're doing is the best part of being an independent contractor. If somebody wanted to be a personal trainer, I think that you have to be non-judgmental. I think that's one of the biggest things is not being judgmental towards somebody who comes to you for help. And if anybody really wants to do something for themselves and believes that they could make a, a career out of something that they're passionate about, then I'd say go for it. I don't see myself doing anything else. I really love being a personal trainer, and I will be a personal trainer until I physically can't anymore. <laughs>